Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. I hope you're having a great day. As we're getting started here, I just wanted to give a quick reminder for you guys to please like this video. Make sure you leave me a comment and definitely subscribe if you want to see more. But either way, I hope you guys enjoy watching me play Red Dead Redemption for the first time. Good morning. Is it daylight? Hope so. Let me check this chest again here. Anything in here? Ooh, lots of revolver ammo. All right, let's head out. Oh, nice. It's a beautiful morning. All right, trying to get everything adjusted here. Hello. Hello. Can I help you with something? Nope. Hey, handsome. Hello. Let's see what's up here. I don't want to take any missions quite yet. I mean, I may. I may take a wanted poster, but I don't really want to take any missions quite yet. What I'm actually wanting to do, it's... Where's my horse? It's been about... Probably about six weeks since I've done a recording session, so I don't remember any of the controls. Excuse me, sir. And I also saw a um, a comment on one of my last videos. I'm not sure if it was the last one or the one before. But it said that I should be using Deadeye, and I kind of know a little bit about Deadeye, but... I was waiting for the tutorial to come up, and I hadn't seen that. So, um, actually, let's try to go over to Bonnie's. You're welcome to stay instead of one. I hadn't seen the tutorial come up yet, so I was kind of waiting on that. But if I miss the tutorial, I kind of want to just like park out in the wilderness somewhere and. Oh, sorry guys. What's the stop button? Nice jump. Um, I kind of want to, like I said, I kind of want to park in the wilderness and practice with the dead eye a little bit. Maybe just find a group of some animals. Um, where are you going? Where are you going? Get back here. My horse is stupid. Hello? How do I talk to people again? I don't remember how to talk to people either. Alright, so... Let's come over this way a bit. shoot <laughs> dang it I should have practiced first I wasn't ready for that <laughs> that was stupid I should I thought they actually meant it I thought they actually needed some help oh come on all the way back here all right let's just uh not worry about that again All right, come here, horse. All right, let's try this again. What's... Do I have 
a package. Let's go a ways out of town. At least. Here we are in Choi Springs. That was a pretty bird. Yeah, I hate that it's been so long since we've played. But it's just been, you know, one of those things where work has gotten really busy, so I'm actually working my my real job a lot a lot more hours than what I normally would. And then on top of that, it's just been busy with some other things too. But but I'm back now and ready to play. Come on. Hey. What's this place? Don't worry, I'm not here for you today. I may be back though. Alright. Oh, this is where a lot of bad things happen. This is where I lost my other horse. That was a sad day. Well, can I try here to use the dead eye? There's a couple coyotes there. I do want to do some hunting anyway because I want to earn some money. Um, where did they go? I scared them away, didn't I? John runs so funny. Okay. Where's the other one? Nice. Okay. So thank you to NCP for that comment because who knows how long I would have played without actually using Deadeye ever. So I feel like this is going to help me a lot in the game, obviously. Hey John, you got something on your face there. All right, and this one too. And then I do want to buy the map and I want to start doing some of these challenges too, like this uh, Master Hunter challenge. I think we were on a, what was it called? A survivalist or a scavenger challenge? Um, there's a bird. But let's go see if we can get a wanted poster and uh, get a little bit of money that way. We can also sell these pelts, I think. But we will have to look at the challenges, actually, and see what all they they entail, what we have to do. Let's, go. Um, let's see. I wanted to go this way. I want to go see Bonnie. fall down the cliff have to go actually down to the road like a normal person I hear a lot of shooting what's going on can I go yeah. over this way see what's happening You have to shoot him. You good man. My name's Jispo. Very graceful. You're welcome. Can I have your treasure? There's 
there's much treasure here. You want map? Yes, please. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Thanks, mister. That's awesome. Bye. Um So yeah, I missed out on this one earlier. And I was wondering if it would come back as an option again to where I could uh Sorry about this, partner. <laughs> To where I could get actually get that treasure map again. I'm glad it did. That's pretty cool. Alright, so let's look at my journal and see. I want this horse back. Um, medicine. I don't think I need that yet. Horse pills. So here's my treasure map. Okay. I think I got my good horse back finally. Okay, the hanging rock. I know where that is. So maybe there's a clue there. And then, I'm not sure where that second one is, though. Is that on the back side of the hanging rock, maybe? I don't know. Okay, I'm learning, though. I need to figure out how to switch my guns a little bit sooner, too. Horse. Is this my good horse now? Yeah, you're a pretty boy. Alright. So now that I have this map, can I actually set waypoints if I do a campsite? I see an arrow. I'm not exactly sure where it's leading me, though. Oh, I see it. I see it. I see the hanging rock. Is this it? No, this isn't it. I think I'm in the wrong spot. This is not the hanging tree. Is it? Let me look. I mean, I think we're close to it, are we not? I don't know, like, I feel like this is it. But yet not. This is too far away. So it's either this one here. I hear gunshots again. It's gotta be one of these. I don't know what this is. Like, what's he doing? That's a wall man, right? Who are you? Are you a deputy? <laughs> He's just like, all right, on about our business.
All right, let's see if we can keep going and find this treasure. I'm not sure where it is, but I feel like it's over here. Wasn't sure what the right thing to do there was, but... We're on the wrong side of this one. Ow! Kicked an armadillo! Because the tree... is on the right hand side. This may not even be the right tree. I feel like it is though. I'm really bummed I can't find it. Okay, so the tree is on the left hand side. No. Is there two parts to this? Or do I just, part number one is find the hanging tree and then part number two is to go behind it. Cause see, I feel like this is correct. I mean, it's a big rock though. Like, I don't know. Let's come back up here again. I mean, I, I don't know. Two hours later. I feel like it's in here. Find it? Yes! That should, should not have taken me that long to find that. I'm kind of disappointed about that. Perhaps there is a god! I'm filthy rich. All right. Now that I've wasted so much time doing that, Let me come into my journal again. Okay, so let's look at these challenges then. Because I've kind of started a couple of them. Um, I don't know where the survivalist one is. Didn't I start that one too? Treasure Hunter rank three. Oops. Objectives. View the map and try to locate the treasure somewhere in New Austin. Open your satchel and choose a treasure map from the kit menu. So I did that one. That one's completed, I guess. So it looks like there's nothing else I can do there. Master Hunter. Skin five coyotes. Kill five coyotes. Skin the corpses. Collect the pelts. Complete challenges to unlock rewards and become a legend of the West. So I got to get three more coyotes. I thought I had done... Was there not a survivalist one or a, like, where you had to collect? Collect flowers or something? Hmm. I don't know. Maybe we'll look at some of these other ones, too. Right now, I'm just more interested in keeping up with the story, so... 
So let's get going. How did we only have $151? Did we not just steal like 200 bucks from the guy? The man? Alright, we'll keep our eye out for some coyotes. And see, right there, there was flowers. And it's telling me to. Let's see if this unlocks again. If it does, it'd be the third time I guess I unlocked it. Alright. So it did. Let me see here. By collecting wild fever food, you have started the first rank of the survivalist challenge. Whoops, wrong button, wrong button, wrong button. Um, check the survivalist section in your journal. So I've started this challenge three times. Collect six wild fever few found at Hennigan's Dead and Troya Springs. Complete challenges to unlock rewards and become Legend of the West. All right, so I need fever few and I need coyotes. Come here. Where are you going? All right, let's go Let's see go. Bonnie. Oh, this horse is so much faster. He's a good boy. I'm having such a hard time going to see Bonnie. We are going to go back to the marshal. Actually, the day is coming to an end. We might actually just go to sleep and see the marshal in the morning. Stuck on that cactus, good. <laughs> uh, how do I stop? Okay, that's better. Can't just come running into town like that. What was the old guy's name who we just saved? Winston? Wendell? Let's go see him. You shall not give false testimony. And I can tell you with no uncertainty that miracle cures are no laughing matter. I bid you <laughs> good day, sir. Uh, <laughs> oh, Mr. Marston, good to see you. How have you been keeping? I'm well, Mr. Uh, Mr. West Dickens. That's right. Nigel West Dickens of East Cheap, London, New Waverly, New York, and Armadillo, New Austin. At your service. At my service. At everyone's service, <laughs> at the service of science, of knowledge, of life. Uh, <laughs> how are your wounds? Hmm? Oh, oh, uh, much, much better. But then, they would be. Mm -hmm. Would be. I know a cure for all ailments, Mr. Marston. Ah, mm -hmm. I'm sure you do. And I'm sure for just two dollars an ounce, I could live forever. Oh, but for you, sir. I do a bulk discount rate of one ninety-five an ounce. <laughs> as long as you buy hundred ounces or more, that's a lot of immortality. Oh, uh, give it up, old man. That's Mr. West Dickens to you, boy. I saved your uh, life. I'll call you whatever I want. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Marston, I'm broke, but this stuff is good. It works. Sure it does. I need a healthy young man like you. <laughs> Come along, and let's ride over to my newest customer at Ridgewood, and I'll explain while we go. Okay. <laughs> I suppose you want me to drive. Head for Ridgewood Farm, John, in hurry. There are people there in dire need of my tonic. <sighs> okay. Oh. I heard about you, Mr. West Dickens. Yes. I have the and right I of way. Hoodwinking yes. yes. the weak, gullible out of their hard earned money. My dear boy, it is you who is gullible, what? if I may be so bold. For what is this about? You're as full of wind as a horse with the collar. I have been blessed with the gift of language. And for that, I will not apologize. But the West Dickens elixirs speak for themselves. My thousands of happy customers attest to that. Those men trying to kill you didn't look so happy. Skepticism is the bastard child of progress, John. Knowledge makes right, a fool into a doubting Thomas. 
It's the cross I bear as a pioneer in the fields of commerce and medical research. You seem to be mistaking me for an idiot. My tonic cures all known ailments. That I can guarantee. Why are you, you running in the middle of the street? This guy's been nothing but problems. But for the sake of argument, even if it didn't, come on, get back on the road. We'll have nothing left by the time we get to Ridgewood. Okay. There's still value in giving a person the belief. I think I got it. Feel better? Is that not, after all, the cornerstone of religion? Faith has its own beauty. So you're God now? No, far from it. We live in progressive times, John. If my tonic is such a sham, how do you explain the fine battle in which you find me? Last time you saw me, I was knocking at death door. You should thank the doctor for that. You I should thank me you're for that. It up worse than it was. Act I can, John. A more convincing Othello there has never been. And so shall you, a fair Iago or Cassio. I don't like the sound of this. I don't either. Showmanship, John. The flourish. The bow. We are operating in a competitive marketplace. Our product must stand out. And how does this involve me? We're going to use your God-given talents to our advantage. I don't want to hold really people up. I'll drop you off at the outskirts of Bridgewood. That way, it won't look like we came together. Uh, I don't like this at all. into the crowd that is sure to be formed. Eventually, I will call you up to try my tonic. After extolling the virtues, I will have you perform a few feats of wonder to amaze and impress the paying public. Such as? Oh, nothing out of the ordinary for a man in your line of work, I assure you. So it is all a shame. Yep. Every bit of it. Oh, no, just a little innocent ballyhoo to grease the wheels of enterprise, that's all. Do you think that buxom young girl you see on the Boyatch camera posters knows the first thing about photography? Advertising, my boy, is the future. You'd best be a man of your word. Best you alight here, dear boy, so no one sees <sighs> us arriving together. I'll see you there. Be ready to enchant the crowd. I'm regretting taking this mission. Uh, can I sleep first? Putting on a show in the middle of the night. Best kind of show. I just don't get it. Friends! Hard there we working go. souls of uh, Chola Springs. No. Gather round, gather round. Do you suffer from rheumatism, lumbago, acute chronic sciatic, uh, uh, neurologic or inflammatory pain? Who well, doesn't? I represent the only company that makes the genuine article that cures headaches, neuralgia, uh, earache, toothaches, backache, swelling, sprains, sore chests, swelling of the throats, uh -oh. contracted cords and muscles, anxieties and ravaged nerves, stiff joints, wrenches, dislocations, cuts and bruises, <laughs> and it adds vitality and vigor to the healthy man. Oh. <laughs> Can you prove it, old man? Oh, uh -oh. I'm sure there's some customer here who could prove the qualities of its by taking a drink right now. I guess that's you, me. Come up here. Step right up. Okay. That's the spirit. Ladies and gentlemen, pay close attention. This poor, wretched volunteer. <laughs> he did, I didn't volunteer. <laughs> will demonstrate the effects of Dr. West Dickens' own patent tonic. Be you a cowpoke or athlete, this miraculous oh. elixir developed with the wisdom of the East keeps the muscles supple and relaxes the cords. It loosens the joints and gives a feeling of youth right and vigor to the whole system. Not possible, I hear you say. Well, doubt no longer. 
Faith can move mountains, but I ask not for faith. I am a man of science, and today, science will be vindicated. What do you want me Your to do? Your eyesight is greatly improved. Is that not so, friend? If you say so. That's right, it is. You heard him. What a I'm going to have to shoot something, are, aren't I? Now, gaze over yonder at that porch. Yep. If you squint, you may just be able to make out the skull that's hanging there. Go ahead, friend. Shoot that skull and demonstrate the miraculous eyesight you now possess. Okay. Hang on. <laughs> Come on. Before I do that, I've got to look at my, uh, I got to look at my, my, my options here. Controls, target, zoom. All right. Here we go. Um, do not keep the crowd waiting. All right. I don't even see where it is. I don't, I don't see where it is. Not difficult, you say? But he will Where the light is? All right. Remarkable! The eyesight of an eagle. Granted All right. Imbibing Dr. West I did it. <laughs> Good thing the light was there. Uh -oh. This man is a fraud. If your eyes so damn sharp, why don't you try shooting my hat out of the air? My friends, our test case has been challenged to shoot uh -oh. a gentleman's hat out of the sky above our heads. You can fool these people, but you ain't fooling me. Right. Let's just see how sharp you is with a moving target. Okay. Steady yourself, stranger. One shot can be fired for each bullet in your gun. Press R3 while I watch activate dead eye. This will slow down time, making it easier to hit targets. See? Have you ever seen such Ooh, a okay. out of the sky? You're out of hat. <laughs> what? You think you can put a hole in a man's hat and just walk away, do you? Yep. Hey, don't work like that around here, mister. Come on! Are you a man or not? A challenge of battle has well? been offered to our volunteer. Look at him. The tonic is coursing through his What's brain. the, uh... I don't know what the button is. <laughs> I don't know. Hang on. Here we go again. I don't know what the punch button is. <sighs> I'm sorry, guys. Punch... Okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna push him. Eh. Eh. That wasn't great, but proof. Do not let this opportunity pass you by. Look, he's over there. Go get this. I don't want to do this. Can I just shoot him in the leg? that can only be afforded by the West Dickens elixir. Come, okay. I have plenty for all. I think you owe me some money, sir. Oh. <laughs> now we ain't got no friends either. <laughs> well, I right. think that went kind of well, don't you? For you it did. My normal job involves either chasing after cattle or murderers. Not the likes of you, mister. Don't be like that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'd like to say my goodbyes, head on back to the real world. Uh, 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 wait, sir. I, I've been thinking about no. your predicament. And uh, I think I may have an idea. No. I've been thinking I 
could be your cunning Odysseus. No. Beware of the Greeks burying gifts, sir. Mm -hmm. Williamson had better beware. We will make them into Trojans. I don't rightly get you. I want you to go and see my old friend, Seth. Uh, he can come across as a little curious, but I'm sure you two will get on. He's uh, most often found at Coote's Chapel. He's very devout. Hmm. Why see him? Because between him and me, we can get those gates to open for you, and you can walk right in, just like in Homer's great Trojan yarn! <laughs> oh, this man. Kind of glad I'm done with him. All right. All right, let's, uh, I think we have to get outside of town a little bit here. Oh, wait, do I have a house here? I do. Well, I have something here. So I can rent this for five bucks? Yeah. We'll do a save and we'll take a sleep. This is still night. Can I not sleep here? I just did a save. All right. Well, that's all I can do. That's all I can do. Let's get outside a town a little bit here and then we'll try to set up a campsite. Now it's raining on me. I'll catch my death of cold. Can I do quick travel now too? I can. Let's see. Now we can go back and see Bonnie. If you enjoyed the video, please like the video. If you want to see more content like this, feel free to subscribe and be sure to turn on notifications so you never miss an upload. As always, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.